So guys, Big K from Mom TV here, and today we're going to be talking about is social media worth it? Hope you guys enjoy it and stay tuned. Oh man, let's get right into Snapchat. Snapchat's the oddest one because like there's no way to like like posts and, and comment and stuff. There's none of that, like Facebook and Instagram and stuff. But it's like similar because there's stories on there and as you know, on Snapchat, like, stories are big time. I mean, on all social media, like, Snapchat's the worst of all of them because if somebody adds you, like, they don't have no incentive to see you. Like, people are less likely to see you on there because they'll just FaceTime you. Like, my golly, Twitter is the probably the most toxic one. Like, you hear all the time of just all the mean tweets and stuff. It's just not a good platform that I don't... I mean, I have an account on there, but, like, I don't ever, I never use it, like, I never go on there and stuff. I never say good morning to everybody and good night to everyone, because they ain't really going to care what I say. The only, and it just, and I think Twitter's, like, the biggest platform that just drives hate. Like, people will wake up in the morning and check their feeds. I would say just don't do it with Twitter or any of them. Because it's so toxic on there. Online bullying. It's just, I don't even, I, I just, I just cannot get into it. I mean, I mean, they say they're a private company. Even though they take down, like, public pages and stuff. And the blue check mark system's a disaster, too. Like, the only people who get it are, like, the high up, like, media officials and stuff. They can just take down any tweet anytime. You heard relentless, relentlessly for months on end about Trump's tweets when he was in office. It's It was just... And it was kind of awful because, you know, you you never hear anything good about him. Because usually when he got on Twitter, he would be mad about something. Like in the government or wherever in the world. Unlike the other ones, you can put memes on, like, Facebook and Instagram and stuff here it's just like it's just text like it's just like writing a paragraph or something like I said the comment is the main goal as I said earlier getting up every morning hearing toxic toxic stuff that's been going on around the world you're gonna think the world's a really shitty place when really it's not it's just that's just what everyone's telling you it is so then you got another argument well is YouTube a social media and I would say no because it's just videos on there. You can also say, well, is it worth it to have a YouTube channel? Like, people are going to hate you on there. Like, regardless. You just got to learn how to handle it. Like, here, like, on my own TV, we're probably being capped on, like, as we know. Because we don't have the highest quality specs or cameras. But, hey, all that matters is that we get this out to you guys. And this is what I want to do. This is what I want to talk about. So, yeah. But then you got a channel like Super Mario Logan, right? He is probably the biggest plush channel on YouTube. It's in the big habit to him. So he introduced this character called Jeffy. And tons of kids liked this character. And this character, Jeffy, was really like... Vulgar. He would like do insanely like vulgar things. And SNL just was on the news constantly on Good Morning America... I saw him there once. He would just... All his views would get demonetized. His entire, like, main channel, SML, got, like, completely demonetized. People just hated him, and... And ultimately, he would go on to lose this, his main channel. Because Nin Nintendo wasn't happy with him either. And he lost his, like, privilege to kind of, like, use, like, puppets. Or, like, the Nintendo characters. So you gotta ask, like, was it worth it to introduce that character that he had? I honestly say it was for him. Like, he has a, you know, he, he has, he's pretty successful now. And I honestly wouldn't say that's a cap on him because he was successful. And ultimately, some people aren't going to like it. And some things are going to happen. But like on this channel, and I think this is pretty prevalent across all social medias. You get a lot of these, like, fake followers, as they call them, like, they don't like any of your stuff, they don't see any of your posts or videos here on YouTube. 
So I so I don't want people to subscribe if they're gonna be like that. And same on all of the social media platforms. You don't want people there that are just fake followers that don't like interact with your like content or your like page. Oh my lord, Facebook. It's literally like boomer Instagram. I mean that's what I think of it as. Like like it's literally old people Instagram. You got like all kinds of just crazy stuff on there. The thing with Facebook though is that there's more like things on there. Like there's a marketplace. Which is Instagram kinda has that now, but Marketplace is like kinda just I don't, I don't even know. It's just it's just like why would why do you need that? Like I'm here like if I wanna buy something, I'll just go on fucking eBay or something, you know? And then the other thing with Facebook is there's groups, but well there's technically like group chats on like Instagram, Snapchat, but these groups on Facebook and these groups on Facebook are just some of them are just really bad and some of them are really good, you know. You know, put over on, but the biggest thing that's on Facebook that's really like driving for me is that those those soccer moms that just like love to brag about their kids all day and all night and they won't and they want to act like their life is so much better than one else's and you got to avoid these people. These people aren't good because if their life isn't good, they're only taking like two seconds that are good out of their day. They're, if they tell you like 100% of their life is good, they're wrong. They're fucking dead wrong. And then you have, like, the families on there that just argue all the time about, like, Trump and Biden and stuff. Like, don't even, like, look, politics, whatever side you want, just don't bother arguing with people. It's not worth your time. Facebook, I feel like it's, like, a medium ground. Like, it can be bad and it can be good, like all social medias, but I feel like this one has, like, a lot of tendencies to be bad. And also, just be careful who you find on there, you know? But would I say this one's worth it? I honestly don't think any social media is worth your, like, time. Because it's limiting the human connection. Like, the people that hate on you are not important. Don't stop worrying about them, man. So you got the outlier social medias like Tumblr, LinkedIn, Reddit. Do I get to those social medias? Honestly, I would say no. Because it's not really like, what are you going to brag about on the Reddit page? That some, like, Star Wars theory or... Some like a new meme, like it's not, no, there's nothing really to like go crazy about on Reddit. Reddit's cool and all, but it's not a social media. Kind of glad to be honest, but who cares? And, and you call the same thing 4chan, like 4chan and Reddit are pretty similar. But with your time though, yeah, I mean, I think they're good for building community. Now, a little bit right. I think they're okay for you know building communities and stuff, like, like you have Reddit forums, you have. 4chan has the same thing too. Both of those are pretty like similar, like Reddit and 4chan. Somewhere it's kind of the same thing too. And then there's Pinterest. That's really not a social media. Like, I'd say like every social media like has like groups and stuff, but Pinterest is just like ideas and stuff. And honestly, I think I got all my ideas for this channel on Pinterest. So I'm a hypocrite. I use Pinterest. Don't come at me. I mean, I use all of them. I mean, I've used all of these, but I'm just saying, like, are these... But, okay, so we got those ones out of the way, but how about TikTok? Oh my gosh, this one's, this one's pretty cringy. And I see a lot of my buddies fall into this trap. They're like, Big K, are you going to make a live on TV channel on TikTok? And the answer is no, because I don't want to see this shit all day. Like, like, get the... Like, I don't, I don't care about that. Like, come on. I like memes. I like comedy. I don't... And that platform's just... You know, it's not really toxic like, like Twitter is, but... It's just stupid. Like, it, it's really cheesy. Like, the dancing's really cheesy. The... The songs are really cheesy. Like, there's those songs that's like... Oh no! Oh no! Like, come on. Like, like you guys know what I'm talking about. It's probably like the most famous TikToks out there. Just, just don't use it. It's not worth it. And also, the other thing is that on there, they keep you in this loop. So, like, so like you have to scroll to go to the next one. So, on there, you have to go to the next TikTok. So, in order to go to the next, like, video on there, you have to scroll. You have no control what's in that scroll. Like, there could be, like, ads in there. There could be, like, dangerous, like, I mean, hell, his name. Do you see, like, Elon Musk using TikTok and just dancing? I mean, that'd be funny. I mean, of course, that'd be funny, but 
But of course he really doesn't because, you know, he's busy, like, going to, like, Mars. So who cares? Then you got those, like, one-hit pages where... Well, they have, like, one big, like, TikTok that maybe have maybe has, like, 300,000 likes and, like, no other ones have any likes. Those are just one hits. Like, I know this, like, one, like, TikTok page has, like, 20 million or maybe a million likes. And, like, no other, none of the other posts, none of the other posts have, like, any, like, believe that. Because, because one hit wonders are really, like, big on there. All right, so final points I'd add in conclusion. I would say, like, depression rates are really high up, I would say, because of social media. You know, you go on there, as I said before, you see all of this, like, fancy stuff, when in reality, they ain't, they don't have it, you know? They are flexors, and that's the, all of that's on social media. Tons of flexors, right? And just don't get, like, fed up or caught up in them and make sure you focus on your lane and no one else's deal and, and to be honest the only life that really matters is yours like stop caring about other people's lives like they're they're gonna do their own thing you're gonna do your own thing and yeah hope you guys enjoyed it And yeah, I could honestly just go off on social media all day, but this is like all I wanted to talk about. And yeah, I mean, did we just, we just, I could. We create a. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe. For not him, maybe for like at, at who views their story and like private story stuff, it's just huge on there. It creates a toxic environment, like where you just, where it just, it, it, it like eliminates the huma humanity out of it. But, but, but that's basically what it is. It's not a healthy environment on Twitter. I would honestly say, like, no, like, but a lot of the traditional fans were like, this, this, this character isn't really like what what we like or or he's just or like there's some like military like i honestly wouldn't say that that that's a cap on him he just you know he just some of this and then you would just not even like i mean i honestly don't think any of these are worth it to be honest and the unique action is really important. I mean, but then you got, but then, but then, none of these, like, none of these, like, none of these, like, people in your Facebook group chat are, like, really important to you. Yeah. Some, like, and there was a, and there was a, and I think he was a big toxic environment for me and, for like everybody say something it's like a comic kind of and you can yeah you can post pictures and stuff but i wouldn't really get in to like posting pictures on twitter because it because it, youtube there isn't there isn't that much of like well i want to go like on social media like it's the one platform where if you thought there was no freedom of speech i would say that's the platform that doesn't have it like on youtube there is the kardashians really aren't relevant on there and and whatever platform they're on kind of makes it more over social media <laughs> whatever you think but i think you're family friendly if you have like plushies in your videos and super mario in your video like i know i get it like i love those i, I like those videos too but you know now nowadays i just have come to accept the fact that like they don't have really the Mario character anymore. Like, even, like, Mario it's, himself is, like, a plushie. So, was it worth it? I mean, maybe. And I think on, and I think on, it's just not even, it's not even, like, it's just everything's, like, dangerous, like, gangsters in there, whatever. I mean, Al, I mean, Al Pacino, right? I mean, how, do you see Al Pacino using Instagram? Or... I mean, hell, do you see, like, 
He's on. And... Water, and like when you like people get so like fed up and like Here we go, guys please share the video because I just want people to see it you know hopefully somebody laughs from this and anyway guys hope you guys have a flipping amazing day